Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a plan with me in my B6 Sixology. First of all, I got a pumpkin spice latte today and I added almond milk and extra caramel syrup and it is amazing. My hair is also in this video, like my ponytail feels the need to make a, an appearance, so there it is. But I typically start off by taking my B6 Sixology out of the cover and then I take my notebook in the back out of the cover. If you missed that video, I will link it down below. But this is a Kakuyo B6 Weekly Diary that I have in this cover as well. And I just move my, my outer cover over to the side and then we get started in my B6 Stology. So in my Stology today, I am going to do my September monthly spread. Typically with my Kakuyo Weekly, I would have gone through throughout the previous months and pre-planned. As you can see, nothing is pre-planned in here right now. It's been a crazy year, you guys. This year is just flying by so incredibly fast. But I decided to go ahead and fill in some dates that I would have pre-planned if I had been doing what I was supposed to be doing. So that's what you see me doing here, just adding in some things so that I do not forget to put them on my weekly, or sorry, so that I do not forget to put them on my monthly spread or in my daily sections. So I just have some things like some meetings, um, some stuff for my kids, like being out of school and all of that. So I went ahead and did that and I wanted to add a little bit of color because Typically, I would have put in some mild liners if I had, again, been planning throughout the month the way that I should. It is crazy how empty these pages are. <laughs> this planner would have been so much better for me if it had a monthly spread. That is my only complaint about this planner, though, to be honest. Like, I just need my monthly section, and I thought it had a monthly when I ordered it. It does not. It doesn't. Okay. So now that I pretty much have my pre-planned stuff together, I'm going to pull out my B6-stology. And this is the half year stology, you guys, if this is your first time here. So I'm going to go in and start creating my monthly spread. I have a general idea of what I want to do, but I'm using a pencil just in case so that I don't make too bad of a mistake because taking pages out of the stology is not fun not fun at all so and then the eraser was kind of messed up this is actually my son's school pencil and i don't know what he did to the eraser but it's pretty much gone so it's a little bit of a a challenge throughout this video trying to erase but i'm just gonna go ahead and set my lines up and then we'll be right back so here i'm just counting to make sure that i get even squares Histology b6 has like 23 boxes across and 32 boxes down the page so I split my boxes up into five by five square boxes so I'm just counting and um, separating everything in that way right here so that I can get again even square boxes I was gonna do rectangles but as I was drawing it out I just decided that I like the idea of squares a little bit better
Okay, so I decided I'm feeling very fall like if you can't tell by my pumpkin spice latte. So I wanted to do something that felt like almost fall. So sunflowers reminds me of August because it's like kind of summery but also kind of fall. So I went with some sunflower washi and I think I got this washi from Hobby Lobby if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going with this like mustard color and these sunflowers so it's like a nice mustard and brown and dark green just to kind of you know hold me over until we actually get to fall because it's clearly still summer i thought i wanted to throw some pink in here i very quickly changed my mind but i'm not going to do too too much as far as decorating goes i just want a little bit of a pop something to put me like in a mood and make me feel happy when i open my planner because that is what's going to motivate me to keep using it all month instead of just like throwing it in my bag and never opening it. So this is my completed monthly overview for the month of September. So from here, the first thing I like to do is write in my bills and I have like a digital budget binder if you're interested in seeing how that works, let me know down below in the comment. Give this video a thumbs up and I will kind of show you how that's going. It's still in the works of being set up. I just decided last month that I wanted my budget binder to be digital and I'm really, really enjoying it. But that is housed in my iPad. So this is like my expense tracker. So I'm just going in and writing down the dates of when everything is due. I am typically one of those people who like sits down one day a month and just pays like everything on one day because that's so much easier for me. But I still like to write in when things are due because sometimes like the system for me to make the payment is down and stuff like that. So I end up needing to pay it on a different day. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. I don't have that many monthly expenses, so they are all in there. And then next I'm going to move to my actual plans. Actually, JK, I wanted like a note section to put little reminders. So I did not leave room for that at the top. So I decided to throw it down at the bottom and just put little things that don't necessarily have a day, but they're things that I would like to get done in the month. From there, I'm going through where I should have pre-planned my life and I'm just going to go in and add different events like my work schedule, um, when school is out, holidays and things like that. I am working pretty much two jobs. So I'm pretty much at work all the time. And so I need my schedule not to overlap. So I need things to be scheduled out um, very specifically <laughs> so that I am able to manage both of these positions, both of my kids' schedules, and all of that. And it really gets kind of hectic. So my planner is super duper important. And this is just me like highlighting the different days that I am kind of managing both positions. And I'm just writing down my work schedule for both of those. This is a new transition that I'm making. So I definitely need to see it written down as I'm planning other appointments and events and things like that. From there, I chose a different green to mark all of my paydays. The good thing about having multiple jobs is that you have multiple paydays. So that's exciting. So I wanted like a bright green. Kind of motivates me to actually go to work all of these days and all of these hours when I can see, oh my gosh, I get paid on this day again. And it helps me with the things that I'm tracking in my budget binder. From there, that reminded me that there's loads of things I need to actually plan and schedule and pay for. So I went ahead and filled in some of my reminders at the bottom right here. But honestly, this is really it for my monthly spread. And from there, I would just go through and do dailies. So there's nothing too crazy or exciting with my dailies. It is very, very minimal in my B6 Stology. So I typically start with like a little line down the side and there I like to do 
like a time schedule with my job i do have to like keep note of everything i do all day so it's a lot easier when i can just write down like what time it is and when i do something it's not necessarily something that i pre-plan but i will go in and write down different appointments as they are planned i typically like the two pages beside each other to kind of coordinate as far as color goes and i just decided to keep going with that like mustard dark yellow colored mild liner because i don't know it's a vibe right now so i'm gonna go in write out some of my appointments i'm going to write down a to-do list because there's things that i like to get done that are not necessarily on a schedule but i do still want to kind of throw it on my planner i almost forgot to mention i do like to write like the day of the week at the top of the page i used to have stickers for this and i ran out I also decided this month to write the month along with the date because I don't know it's just a lot easier when I'm flipping back and forth through the planner but again this is pretty basic pretty straightforward I'm pretty minimal on these pages I do try to throw stickers in here and there just because I have a lot of stickers in my collection that I need to use otherwise I'm just going to throw them away honestly so I want to go ahead and get use out of them I have not really bought any stickers this year i will likely buy some more like date headers because i enjoy those but other than that i think i don't know i think i'm moving away from stickers at this stage in planning i just like to keep a nice minimal simple but kind of cute page you know so that is it you guys again thank you so much for watching my video for subscribing to my channel i have so many new subscribers this month you guys are amazing and leave me a green heart down below if you made it to this part in the video. And I will see you next time. Happy September. Bye.